Hi all, welcome to linuxnext.com. Today we are going to see how to create a bootable USB drive. As you already know, uh, we can install uh, Linux OS from number of ways. One is uh, using live CD and install it once you are familiarized with Linux. Installing through network, installing through CD-ROMs. And uh, one more special way is to install through uh, a pen drive. Normally pen drives are not uh, a, a, a f uh, from history, if you see, they are not a bootable devices. Most other people, they think that they are not bootable devices. But you can convert uh, uh, USB drives into bootable devices n so that you no need to buy any CD-ROMs or DVD-ROMs or uh, any sort of uh, optical devices. So, uh, uh, the procedure what we are going to show here is it's uh, uh, applicable for all the Linux layers like Red Hat based uh, uh, machines like RHEL, Fedora, CentOS, uh, etc. and Debian based machines like Ubuntu, uh, Mandriva, all those things. Even OpenSUSE, Slackware, uh, many many operating systems will support the, this process actually. What we are going to follow uh, here is we are going to uh, convert a normal uh, Linux ISO CD to hybrid ISO CD by using syslinux tools. We are going to install them in a couple of minutes. Uh, so what actually this uh, uh, conversion will do is it will convert normal ISO to a, a hybrid ISO. Nothing but it will have all the boot related uh, stuff and other things. You no need to write that ISO image onto a CD-ROM. You can uh, convert that uh, format or uh, uh, information of normal ISO to hybrid ISO so that whenever you write that one onto a disk or say suppose USB drive it will be treated as a, a bootable uh, uh, CD-ROM kind of thing so it will start booting up from that uh, USB drive so uh, let me put my uh, USB drive into my machine so uh, we'll check uh, whether uh, uh, ISO hybrid is there or not. If you see it's not there, it's actually PL script. I don't want this one. Uh, so what I'll do is it's not there actually. So uh, it's giving you have to install uh, apt-get install syslinux. So we'll do that one. Uh, if you are uh, based on uh, uh, Red Hat, Fedora or uh, CentOS based machines, you can just use M space install space syslinux. We are on uh, uh, Debian uh, and uh, Ubuntu machine, so that's the reason I'll get, I'll use apt-get install syslinux. This will provide all the booting related uh, uh, tools for you. So, we'll install it. Now uh, if syslinux is installed, so our tool is ISO hybrid. Yeah, it got installed. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert uh, uh, a Fedora Linux ISO CD to a uh, hybrid ISO. I already copied some of my uh, ISO files to this location. So what I'll do is ISO hybrid space Fedora. That's it it got uh, completed the conversion is completed within fraction of seconds if you see these two lines you no need to worry about these warnings these are like uh, the devices which are ha the iso files which are more than 1 gb you will get this warning uh, stating that it may not work but uh, most of the cases it will work i tried number of iso series so i never face any kind of issue so you can go ahead uh, by uh, ignoring this uh, warning so once we create a uh, hybrid uh, thing, you have to select uh, your CD, uh, your uh, USB drive, uh, which you want to create. So we'll use DD command to write the data. Uh, I'm writing uh, this Fedora ISO file to my uh, output file equal to slash TV. ST, I'll check what is my uh, pen drive I have. If you see, I have my pen drive STB and STB1. So I'll take STV. Remember one thing: DD command will take uh, entire hard disk or entire drive uh, when you want to write some data. So I, I'm taking output file equal to STB instead of STB1. So your DD command will take care of remaining stuff. 
so what i'll do is i'll uh, just enter it it's going to take some uh, uh, minutes i can say uh, 15 to 20 minutes depending upon your uh, uh, pen drive uh, speed uh, my pen drive class is class 4 that's the reason it will write bit slower actually if you have class 6 or class 8 or class 10 uh, usbs they'll write very quick and uh, fast so what i'll do is i'll pause my video here once everything is done i'll uh, get to the video once again we are done with uh, copying data into usb drive now it is completely uh, bootable the usb drive so you just unplug and uh, put it into the system where you want to install this uh, fedora linux voice so we'll see that one as well so uh, if you see i booted my machine and uh, it is showing all the options available for booting so if you see the second option it's showing usb M msc drives and screws this is my bootable uh, pen drive what i'll do is i'll select the second option by pressing 2 uh, what i can do is i can install or uh, upgrade the existing fedora operating system so what i'll do is i'll say install it So it's taking uh, time to uh, uh, unzip everything into uh, RAM and other stuff. Yeah, we are uh, uh, presented with the first uh, screen of installation. It will uh, it will ask you which in which language you want to install your OS. There are multiple uh, things you can select. Any any uh, thing. Uh, my mother tongue is Telugu. I can even select Telugu but uh, for time being i'm going with uh, english english then next and keyboard layout is us english then uh, basic storage or specialized storage i'll go with basic storage and it will give you some uh, information stating that uh, you are going to uh, format this uh, 70 GB of hard disk I will say yes discard it uh, I will give my system name as uh, www.linuxnix.com and say next and you can select your uh, location as well say next and give uh, password for uh, administrator nothing but root user in linux so it says uh, it's uh, dictionary thing blah 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 like that you can ignore it i'll go with custom layout so uh, which device on which device you want to install the voice what i'll do is i'll install on only uh, ata that's the reason i'll select this one so i'll keep that one click next and it, if you see uh, total 17 GB of free space uh, what I'll do is I'll create uh, first partition uh, which is of um, 6 GB I'll create as then uh, swap partition I'll create So swap partition I'll create up to 1 GB then click next and it says uh, it's going to format it yeah don't worry you can uh, format it write the changes to disk yeah uh, keep these settings as the default one Yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, keep graphical installation, uh, uh, keep customize later and say install it. So it will take couple of uh, minutes. Uh, so uh, 
we'll come back once again after uh, complete installation of OS. Yeah, we are completed with uh, installing process. Uh, what we can do is we are going to reboot our machine. So it will take couple of uh, seconds to boot. Uh, just enter. It will uh, start in uh, booting up uh, the things. When you install uh, any uh, Linux OS, uh, the first time when you boot up, uh, you'll be presented with a lot of information. That is one time information you have to enter. So we'll just go through them. License agreement, say forward, and uh, full username, Surendra, Anne. Password, you can give whatever complex you feel. Yeah, password match here. So forward. Yeah, I'm okay with the time and uh, date. Uh, I don't want to uh, uh, change anything. I'll go with do not send uh, profile updates. Yeah. Uh, no, do not send. Uh, that's it. We are uh, finished with our uh, Fedora installation. So that's it, uh, it uh, completed. So uh, this is how you can create your bootable device and uh, install it from uh, USB drive. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, this process can be applicable for most of the major uh, uh, distributions uh, like Ubuntu, Mandriva, Debian, um, uh, Fedora, uh, CentOS, Red Hat, Slackware, everything, everything it will support. You try and uh, uh, post us your uh, queries or comments if you face any issue. Have a great day. Keep visiting linuxnext.com for more updates.